Hello everyone and welcome to Zach's Garage. Today and actually for the next two weeks you join me on the biggest trip we have done for the channel yet with none other than Koenigsegg themselves. You join me at the private house of Koenigsegg and you guys will be seeing this tomorrow. Yes, I think maybe tomorrow or whatever it may be. And this is where we're hosting private events but we're taking delivery right now of the Jumeirah. So we're going to get that unloaded. We've got a problem with this gate at the moment, so that's going to open. We're going to chuck that in there and then do some rearranging. But this is going to be a behind the scenes of what happens at Pebble Beach at Monterey when you're with a company like Koenigsegg. As a rental car then, we have a Chevy Tahoe and all of the Koenigsegg sort of rental cars are sticking up with the shields on each side. Kind of cool. Now you would have thought that quad pipes on a V8 Chevy would make it sound cool, but you'd be wrong. This thing sounds like an asthmatic hamster blowing through a straw. Apart from things like the slanted Tahoe badge, there are actually some fairly cool things in this. Check this out. Random pocket? No. This is the perfect place to hold your DJI mini cam and two wireless mics. How about that? Well done, Chevy. You may not know how to build a car, but you know how to do storage. One of the main things you'll notice about like Monterey, because it's so hilly, you get loads of fog and there is some blue sky behind there, but just like your bicurious sun, we're waiting for it to come out. It is now off the trailer. I know you guys have seen this car many times on the channel, but why not go over it? For the people who haven't seen it yet, the Jumeirah. We're gonna go properly in detail with it a little bit later on, maybe another video. I've got two weeks in America, of which plenty of time is gonna be spent with this. One side note about this house then, it has one of these uh, weird clocks. Now you're probably looking at this as a bunch of letters and it probably doesn't quite come up on camera, but if I turn to the side, you can see that some of them lit up. It says it is five, two, 10. Quite clever, unless you're dyslexic and then that just looks like a really stressful eye exam. So this is kind of cool. This is the driveway that goes down into the garage, but the only thing I don't quite understand is how the hell are you meant to get a car down here? I mean, I almost need climbing equipment just to get down this. Feels like I'm abseiling, but apparently you can get a Ferrari up and down it. Here's something you guys won't get to see very often. This looks like a normal tube, but upon removing the lid, you will notice there are pencils in there, coloring pencils that have all been labeled by yours truly, Koenigsegg. How cool is that? Tony said colouring pens. So you guys join me in one of the most famous car places in the whole of Monterey, the Monterey Plaza Hotel. You guys will recognise this. I mean, I remember when I was back here in 2011, there was a bunch of Bugattis parked outside, and now I'm here with Koenigsegg, just something that's absolutely mental. But it smells of one, one of either of two things either sardines or petrol and for this week it's more petrol than sardines thankfully but let's do some car spotting i'm currently waiting for a taxi and you literally don't have to go anywhere they just love cruising past this hotel so yeah it's like i don't know the us's version of the dorchester kicking it right off then a brand new electric hummer that's mental i haven't even seen one of these yet and it's literally i've just filmed that clip that's so cool we should probably go have a look at it. Nope. So I can hear something coming. Oh, and look at that. How cool is that? Well, 
that's an Austin Metropolitan. Look at that. Just as I was waiting for my lift over to the Zenvo house, I was greeted by this. You've got Drac and you've got an older vehicle down there. And inside the garage is something very cool indeed. So I'm going to have to take you over there so you guys can take a little look. So as cars go then, how about this as a lineup? We have the Agera RS Ruthi, the world record car. We have a CCR, we have the Yesco Absolute, Warabisi Roads or Warra Roadster, the Yesco Attack and Regera, and then just over there, the Apollo IE and some red Porsche thing. So hopping in the X3 then, where are we off to now? You guessed it, the Zenvo house. But we are here outside the Zenvo house. These guys, instead of doing the big whole quail lodge thing, they've done it very cleverly. They've rented a really pretty house, kept the two TSRSs outside, and they're basically inviting special guests over, with me being an exception, because obviously I am uh, nor special nor a guest, I'm just an intruder. But let's go check out the cars, and then we're gonna check out inside, because they've done a very cool job inside. As a Koenigsegg owner, believe it or not, sometimes you're not made welcome in all these places. And unfortunately, I'm in the Zenvo room, so they've basically asked me to leave. So I've called an Uber, and uh, America just keeps getting better. Look at these Ubers. change of plans once again as this is the first time the Yesco has been running on American soil uh, they thought that it'd be a better idea to stick me in the passenger seat and I'd film the car driving on the road so it's gonna be quite exciting and uh, yeah should be good fun I'm interrupting my video. Uh, oh, sorry. Was, this I, is was, I, was I interrupting your video? You were. You were. Okay, just check it. Yeah. Go ahead. You got anything to say? No, no, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. go ahead. So today we've been uh, out in Ruthie. We've been in the CCXR. CCXR or CCX? CCX. CCX. Okay, CCX. We've been out in the Esco attack and now we're picking up the absolute with this guy. Let's go. about this then under the cover we have the Jamera then we have the Yesco attack and right next to it the Yesco absolute now this is obviously hasn't been seen driving on the roads too much although now you guys have seen it driving on the roads of California certain things on this are rather cool you've got the aero wheels so they've got like the, bl the blades that you can put in between you can actually remove those as well it's got what I call the fangs instead of the big top mounted rear wing few interior changes but Generally, pretty much the same. You've got a uh, 
a shorter front splitter. Basically, it's as little drag as humanly possible. Apart from that one, it's as much drag because they want downforce.